Center, our friend Buck Martinez back in the booth yesterday. Family there, about 50,000 friends in the ballpark as well as he is a friend to every Blue Jays fan around the world. Buck, good to see you back at work, my friend. How you feeling? Matty, I feel great. Uh, it's good to see you as well. Yes, it was a special night uh, to come back and uh, get back in the booth and work with my partner Dan Shulman. My son Casey and his family was here. It was pretty awesome. And, when the players stepped out of the dugout in the second inning, that really caught me off guard. I had no idea that was coming, but uh, you'll recall that Vladdy held up a sign in the All-Star game, as did Ken Rosenthal, and it was pretty awesome, but it really made me feel good on Tuesday night. It brought a cheer to my eye and something I'll never forget. Well, your background uh, as a player, as a manager, as an executive, as a broadcaster, important in the big picture for baseball, but certainly so important to Blue Jays fans. And I, I was told of a standing ovation you got yesterday simply for leaving the ballpark when they cheered you into your car. Talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we were walking out of the stadium uh, after the ball game, and there was 39,000 fans here. So. Uh, we stepped out the door. Somebody recognized me, and all of a sudden, everybody started to clap. And it was overwhelming, actually, because uh, my two granddaughters, Laura and Zoe, who was with us, and uh, baby Evie were with us. And uh, the granddaughters are old enough to understand that uh, it's pretty special. And uh, I was glad I could share that moment with them as well. You mentioned that you were on the air yesterday uh, with your longtime partner, Dan Shulman, uh, with whom we have a photo of you back in 1998. And it's good to see that you were able to get past the skepticism you had for Dan because you look very, very worried about him here to stay a partner of his for some uh, 30 years. Yeah, well, that was a problem. You know, he was a radio guy, Matt. I got to tell you, I wasn't really sure how it was going to translate onto the TV, but it's worked pretty well, obviously. Dan's done a great job himself. He's had a wonderful career, and we've been uh, partners for a long time. So, uh, yeah, we go back a long way. Uh, when my hair was dark and uh, Dan had hair. <laughs> You know, I, I don't want to sound like I'm not a sympathetic guy, Buck, because you know I am. But for those of us that know how tough you are, and I'm speaking specifically of a guy that got run over in 1985 in the kingdom, broke his ankle, and still hung in there for the out, we knew you were going to beat cancer. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, it was something that uh, I've always been worried about losing my job, so I didn't want to be away too long. And that was an 85, and unfortunately at the time I was hitting 160, so I had to do whatever I could to help the team win. But that was my last game in 1985, and uh, you know what, I've been fortunate. A lot of people remember me for two things, Matty, and you can appreciate this. Uh, they remembered me as a player for 17 years of breaking my leg in one play. And as a broadcaster, they remember me and Chris Berman not talking for 22 minutes in the Cal Ripken game. So I, I guess that tells you all you need to know about my career <laughs> as a player and a broadcaster. <laughs> hey, while we have you, let, let's talk about the Blue Jays, because uh, knowing you as I do, I know you were still keeping up with your team while you were recovering. Uh, the Blue Jays are so talented. They are so much fun to watch and so interesting. Where do you have them right now in terms of where they need to be to get to the big, big dance at the end of the ball? Well, man, I think the one thing that, that we forget about this team is how young they are. They have the youngest position players in the majors. And, you know, yeah, you've got guys like Springer who's been dramatic at the top of the order. But so many of the guys are young guys just getting their feet on the ground, Laddie and Bo and Cabin. And when you think about the team in 92-93, in they were the oldest team in American League. In 15 and 16, they were the oldest team in American League. And now people want to compare them to the Yankees. Well, the Yankees have MVPs and Rookies of the Year and home run champs, and they've got a lot of experience. The Blue Jays are talented, but they don't have that experience yet just to handle the peaks and valleys. But now I think uh, the confidence is showing a little bit. The offense is starting to come around. And you know what? I, I think the Blue Jays understand that the postseason is there, but they don't really have all. They haven't conceded the division just yet for the Yankees. Tigers and Blue Jays tonight with our friend Buck Martinez, Mike side with Dan Schulman on Rogers Sportsnet. Buck, great to see you. Great to hear you back in the booth. And we look forward to tuning in the rest of the way. Thank you very much, Matt. Always great to be with you.